My family and I had only planned a couple of days to actually spend in Duluth. We're up here to explore the beauty of the North Shore all the way to Canada. I had a quick session with my son at Piedmont the first evening we rolled into town. That night it had rained cats and dogs so our first day was spent exploring what the city of Duluth had to offer. Now I'm not a morning person at all, but today was our last day and I knew if I was going to get a solo session in at Piedmont, I needed to get my butt up super early to make it happen. The Airbnb we stayed at was in a huge old house with three stories of beautiful wood floors. Of course, they creaked like crazy every step I took through the narrow passages at 5.30 in the morning. As I made my way across town to the trails, I was hoping like crazy that the weather would hold off and let me get in my session. You've arrived. Well, the forecast isn't looking great, but we're uh, just going to give it a shot and see how it goes. Piedmont trails, here we come. We're going to do the Dr. Roxo trail. Off to a good start. Oh, sh <laughs> that's pretty hairy. <laughs> Continuing. Whoa. Um. Huh. Nimby. Yep, this is how we're gonna go. That looks like that nasty rock face. Oh yeah, that's pretty wild. Yeah, all right, so that's why I just rode down. Yeah, this has 
scoffer. Huh. Well, clearly I can't write up that. Let's go check this thing out. Here's a little section called Rickety Cricket. And it looks rickety. Oh yeah. That'll be easy enough. Easy enough, I say. Huh. Oh, there's a whole section through here. Dang, I just about missed this one. Is there another one up there too? What does that say? Dr. Diablo. All right, I guess this is Rickety Cricket and Dr. Diablo. This one goes back to the other drop. You! I think that's how it's supposed to be done, guys. Let's go back to this one. Didn't do that one last time. Oh, and this one. Oh, dude, that's sick and a little scary. Not sure exactly how you're supposed to roll in on that. All right, here's a go. So we kind of hopefully and just roll down like that, I guess. Yo. Woo! That was fun. On the trail again. I can't wait to send it off some rocks again. Oh yeah, a little gap up. They'll be flying through that though. Boom. Oh, that was hot. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, Fox Rocks. Yep, we're gonna go to Fox Rocks. That was one of the ones on my list to hit. Ooh, that's a little sloppy there. Oh, nice. Whoa. Pop. Whoa. Get a little off there. That is nutty. When I rolled up to this rock face, my heart skipped a beat. I was like, holy crap, people ride that? Video doesn't do this rock face justice. With it being damp, I was a little hesitant, but I hiked up to check it out anyway. All right, here we go. Hey, 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 hey. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that was sick. That's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fun. Damn, these routes are sharp. Oh, hello. That's pretty gnarly. When I rolled up to this section, I remembered seeing Context. it in all the videos I had watched before. What a magnificent sight. These rock rolls were the most technical and scariest features I have ever come across in my adventures. Okay, so here's that, there's that one, another line right here. I went for this rock roll first because it appeared to be the easiest. There weren't any drops to navigate. However, it was damp and off camber. Sliding the wrong way on this slab could have ended badly for me. Good. Nope. Don't skid. You skid, you're gonna fuck yourself up. Do not skid. Stay right. If you can. Too slippery. Okay. All right. Third time's charm, Eric. Roll through this weed section here. That's the way you're gonna have to do it. If you can. All right. Here we go. Here we go. You got it. <laughs> This one looks a tad scary. This second section stepped up the technical aspect a few notches. It also bumped up the scare factor with a technical drop at the end. The run up to this drop is steep as hell and the drop had kind of a short gap. Maintaining speed and having full control was an absolute must. Basically, you have to go down kind of at an angle like this and then turn on the rock that's off camber and then launch off at the end of that into that little landing there. Totally doable, very scary. There was no wiggle room for error. Going too fast would result in the nosedive flat. Hold it, buddy. I saved this third section for last because it looked to be the most intimidating, mostly due to having the largest drop. Let's do this. There was a technical element to get up and over before you could even get into the downhill portion before the drop. This one took me a few tries to clean. Completing those three rolls was definitely a highlight in all my years of riding. I still can't believe those kinds of features exist in Minnesota. It's okay.
jagged ass rock. As I continued down Fox Rocks, I came to a fork in the road that said Admiral Rock Bar. Not knowing the area, I messed up and entered the exit and did a whole bunch of technical rocky climbs. The rocks on this trail are so sharp. I eventually came to a huge rock face that was so big I couldn't even hike up it, especially with it being damp. I wish I would have gotten that on video. I turned around there and I went back to the fork, hoping to get to the top of that feature and send it. Got a little off track there. That was Admiral Rock Bar. This time we're gonna do box rocks. There, this is fine. Okay, this is how we get to that drop. Rock bar. Unfortunately, I never saw that feature again and completely missed it. Not sure where the trail goes. I don't know if I'm on it. Definitely not on it. I managed to find my way up to the insane overlook at the top of Admiral Rock Bar. There's that view we've been looking for. This was a goal of mine as I've seen some pretty cool pictures from up there that I wanted to recreate for myself. I really had no idea where the trail was supposed to go, so I just kind of rode around a little bit. After some post-ride YouTube viewing, I discovered that I had missed some of the best parts of Admiral Rock Bar. I guess I'll have to get redemption next time. Cool. This riding session was one of my top mountain bike experiences ever. I cannot wait to get back and shred this place again. Cheers to Cogs and the locals for all their work in making such a cool place to ride. Here we coming up. And just like that, that wraps our trip to uh, Duluth, Minnesota for mountain biking to Piedmont. A little bike wash was uh, muchly needed. And uh, we're all set to go, so. Thanks for watching, this was fun. So long. <laughs>